Good day and welcome. I hope you are still healthy and staying safe. This presentation is specifically directed at the COVID-19 representatives and employees conducting the screening of symptoms at the different offices, sites and locations. By now, I believe each one of you are experts on COVID-19 and you might feel that what I am sharing is old news. But please stay alert and stay focused to ensure you do not miss any new information. During this session, we will briefly discuss what is COVID-19 and its symptoms, symptom screening processes as per the company COVID-19 policy, completing the questionnaire, using the thermometer and other duties that might be assigned to you. As mentioned in previous sessions, COVID-19 is part of a family of viruses discovered during December 2019 in Wuhan, China. The virus primarily attacks the respiratory system of the person who is exposed to it. However, most of the reported cases are mild. COVID-19 is only one of many transmissible and contagious diseases which we are exposed to daily and could affect our health. These include chickenpox, measles, mumps, the plague, pneumonia and tuberculosis. Currently, there is not a specific vaccine that can help to stop the spread of COVID-19. It is important not to panic. As a COVID-19 representative, you are required to keep people calm when they feel anxious about the virus potential effect on their life. As mentioned, most cases are mild. Only about 6% of patients need intensive care. The vast majority of people can stay at home and get better without any hospital treatment. Any person can be susceptible to the disease. However, the elderly and persons with existing illness and conditions like heart disease, blood pressure problems and asthma might be more likely to display severe symptoms. It takes between five and six days for a person who was exposed to the virus to display symptoms. However, there have been cases of symptoms only appearing after 14 days. Most common symptoms include a dry cough, fever above 37.5, shortness of breath, tiredness and a sore throat. There may also be additional symptoms. Most cases are mild and only about 20% of reported cases result in severe illness, including pneumonia and other respiratory illnesses affecting breathing. Appointed COVID-19 representatives may include reception staff, departmental managers, office managers and administrative staff. It is important to appoint a person who will be regularly available when anyone needs access to the premises. The appointed COVID-19 representative will daily at every entrance to the workplace perform the following duties. Screen all employees at the time that they report for work to determine whether they have any observable symptoms and before they go home to determine that no symptoms developed at work. Request every employee to indicate whether they suffer from any additional symptoms, including body aches, loss of smell, loss of taste, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, weakness or tiredness. Ensure employees inform the employer immediately if they experience any of the symptoms mentioned above while at work. Verify that the employee is wearing his or her mask when moving around and it is being worn correctly. Ensure employees moving around also regularly sanitize their hands. It is important to note that no person with symptoms may enter the premises, employee and or visitor. All employees, visitors, contractors, logistical services and others must be screened and must wear a mask before entering the premises. If an employee reports at the workplace with symptoms or inform the employer or the person conducting the screening of these symptoms with a fever of 37.5, the employee shall not be permitted to enter the workplace or report to work. The employer shall, if the employee is already at work and has entered the workplace, immediately isolate the employee, provide the employee with a special mask, and arrange for the employee to be transported in a manner that does not place others at risk. Assess the risk of transmission, disinfect the area and the employee's workstation, refer those employees who may be at risk for screening and take any appropriate measures to prevent possible transmission. The employer shall ensure that the employee is tested or referred to an identified testing site. 
the employer shall place the employee on paid sick leave and if the employee's sick leave is finished, make application for an illness benefit in terms of the appropriate legislation. If there is evidence that the employee contracted COVID-19 at work, the process for reporting an IOD must be adhered to. Whilst isolating the employee, inform HR immediately. Should an employee only show symptoms with no fever, ensure the employee is isolated at the workplace. If an employee has been diagnosed with a contagious disease and isolated in accordance to the Department of Health guidelines, the employer shall only allow an employee to return to work on the following conditions. The employee has undergone a medical evaluation and has tested negative on the contagious disease. The employee shall ensure that the rules relating to personal hygiene, wearing of masks, social distancing and cough etiquette are strictly adhered to. And screening staff as well as the employee's manager shall closely monitor the employee for symptoms on screening and report um, returning to work. When verifying symptoms, do not only ask if they have it, look out for the symptoms too. Whilst you complete the form, make sure the employee or visitor is wearing their face mask and that it is properly secured. You can even ask if they are wearing a clean mask. Additional questions you can ask from time to time include, have you traveled across borders in the past 14 days? Have you visited any clients in the past 14 days? And if you have multiple company premises, have you been to any of the other company offices? There are various types of non-touch thermometers available. This is just one example currently being used by SAR. The majority of non-touch infrared thermometers work very similarly, but do make sure you familiarize yourself with your model's manufacturing specifications. This model works as follows. Aim the sensor at the forehead of the employee, visitors, contractors, or any person requiring access to your premises. Ensure that there's nothing obstructing the sensor from the forehead. The sensor must be between three to five centimeters away from the person's forehead. Any further and the reading will be inaccurate. Record the reading. Should the measurement be below 37.5, the employee may enter. If not, the employee must be treated as per the screening protocols discussed before. We advise that you do a very basic test to ensure that the sensor is still working. The purpose of the test is to see whether the readings of the thermometer change from green to red. The basic test is by pointing the thermometer at a glass of cold water and a cup of boiled water. Aim the sensor first at the glass with cold water and then at the cup of hot water. Always ensure you keep the sensor at the distance advised by the manufacturer. Additional duties that might be assigned to you is to ensure that you keep record and provide reports. Thus, all questionnaires must be filed and may not be destroyed. Weekly reports must be provided to HR if so required, and you must ensure that employees regularly sanitize their hands. Furthermore, duties may also include that you inspect, sanitize, and disinfect common areas, and ensure that all material and equipment necessary for complying with COVID-19 regulations are available and always ensure that masks are available for visitors and any other person who might require, um, um, might require access to your premises if they forgot their own masks. We have received several questions and here's just some feedback on those questions. How many symptoms before an employee should be isolated and what happens to a person who has symptoms but no fever? 
it is advised that a person with at least three symptoms, including respiratory symptoms, must be isolated. If possible, isolate the employee at their own home, have them work from home for at least five to six days. If this is not possible, they can be isolated at the office and continue working. Keep the person isolated from the rest of the employees at least five to six days, focusing on their fever. Additional screening during the day may be required for these isolated employees to ensure they don't develop a fever. What happens if the employee have a fever and is isolated? Can they continue working? No person may continue work at the workplace if they have a fever. They must immediately be isolated given the mask and arrangements as per the policy must be made for them to be transported for testing or additional isolation. Can a rep be a vulnerable or elderly person? Preferably no vulnerable or elderly person should be COVID-19 rep due to their health risk and the, in, the increased exposure to the potential risk of COVID-19 by the assessing of other employees. When screening the person and they report they are coughing but they say it's not COVID-19 related, in such an instance, if an employee reports coughing and states it's not COVID-19 related, still record it on your screening report. And how often should we screen employees? Now, according to the health and safety regulations promulgated specifically for the COVID-19 virus, it only has to be done once before work commenced. However, the national health requires employees to be screened twice a day before work commence and after before they go home. Should you require any additional information, visit our website. The link will be shared with you below. Be safe, stay safe and stay COVID-3. Thank you very much.